Hey Libras, I'm back y'all with another video. Let me make sure your volume is turned all the way up. I'm back guys. So let's jump into it. This is going to be a general energy read for the sign of Libra. So if you have Libra anywhere in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node, you can utilize this video, okay? All right, so... Majority of my messages are centered around love life. Um, if anything else pops out, we will discuss it, okay? Give me a message for Libra, please. What's going on with Libras? Show me what's going on with the Libra. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. So it looks like... I'm gonna, we're going to wait. Let's get a few more cards. What else? Tell me what else is going on with Libra. Okay. So it looks like someone here could be going through a separation period. Um, this could be you or someone you're dealing with. Guys, take this energy um, as it resonates. Like if if it's if this is your energy and it could be someone else's, the person that you're dealing with. Okay, now we got separation and heartbroken. Okay. Now at the bottom of the deck, we have photograph, runner and seduction and a chaser okay and then we got date and boat okay Ooh, there's lots to talk about up under here okay so somebody here is addicted to you or you're addicted to them However it goes, it's like a really, really strong attachment. Like, it's really strong. Like, somebody has an obsession. And the obsession is tied to the sex. Okay? So, it looks like the sex is, is the bomb. Somebody uh, went off and is dating someone else. Like I said, this could be you or this could be your partner. But I I mean, I feel like this could be you dating someone else. And someone is chasing you. <laughs> someone is chasing you. Someone is chasing you and you're running the other way. We got chaser, seduction and runner this person is chasing you it's a third party a third party could be involved or this person is chasing you because they are crazy utterly obsessed and it has a lot to do with the sex being the bomb it's the sex like the sex is amazing they are chasing you, and I see you running the other way. This person misses you. We got a photograph. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia. Like, this person is obsessed with you. I feel like maybe you were heartbroken in the beginning, and you're moving past that you're dating someone else and this person from the past is still chasing after you like they are so obsessed oh no that's way too many cards Yes, like, I feel like when the separation happened, 
You may have been heartbroken for a little while. And then you started dating. You started going out. Mingling with others. Dating. Dating someone else. The golden mirror. <laughs> so it looks like you're very into yourself. Like you're very, um, you know, it's about me energy right now. This a shit that happened in the past. I feel like you have moved on from that energy. Somebody sabotaged. They sabotaged it. They caused the breakup. I feel like you were good to this person. And this person could have used you or they um, charmed you out of a lot of things. And now you're over here living a good life. You done decided to make better choices. But here's this snake. Right time when they realize that you've healed, they come they coming back to stab you in the back. They chasing you down. They see you ascending. They see you leveling up. Wow. <laughs> I'm telling you, I can't make this up. We got love and passion. Like, literally... I feel like this person has a lot of love for you, but they love making love to you. They love the romance. They love the fairy tale part of the situation. Then chemistry is insane. You guys had a lot of fun together, but but what the problem was is that this person they too risky. They had, may have had other options. They gambled. They gambled. They could have put you in competition with a third party here. And see, while you're healing, while you're over here healing, they want to come back around to break up or cause you some type of pain or deceive you or to, you know, things just not going to go as planned. So I see you being all about yourself. You could be in a relationship right now and you're getting like love bomb. Like this person is just loving all over you. Giving you the energy that you deserve. You could be giving this energy to yourself. But it ain't with them. Yeah, it's the butterfly. See, you are evolving. You, you could be in a relationship that's already in the next phase. And you've healed and you've grown from that. You've learned the lesson. And see, now you got this person with the sunglasses. They over here watching you and stalking you. I know y'all can't see. They over here watching you and stalking you. Look, they done found out some information. We got a dragonfly. They done found out some information about you and your new person. They haven't heard from you. You haven't reached out to them. Mm. <laughs> but when I tell you Alright let's see What else What else Does this person Have going on Like why They can just get over it <laughs> I feel like you guys have moved on This old news and This person will not let you go Because they are upset They love your loyalty. They like how loyal you are. They love how loyal you are. It's like nobody like you. We got individuality. It's nobody like you. Um, you've shown all of these good traits about yourself to them. And that's something also that they just, you know, don't want to lose, don't want to let go of.
And it's like you was loyal to them. But what is that loyalty to you? Okay. As well, they is just hoping like you can understand where they what they're coming from. They want you to hear them out. They want you. They hoping that you can understand why they did something that they did, why they moved the way that they did. Um, but they also know that you're super duper confident in yourself. Like you got a lot of confidence. And you got a lot of high esteem. So they should have known that certain things that you just wasn't going to let it slide. You know your self-worth. And it's just certain things that you just not going to let it slide. Let's see what action we're going to take towards you. Y'all know we're getting ready to go in Mercury Retrograde. Venus is already retrograde. So, lovers from the past or if you have unfinished business and things like that, they'll be returning. They're thinking of you. Nine of Swords and the Eight of Swords. They're still heartbroken over the situation. They're still holding on to the pain of it. Um, but somebody definitely had a lot of options, okay? Like, they were juggling. They were doing some juggling. They were doing some juggling. Goodness gracious, they were doing a lot of juggling. Um, I told you they spying on you. It's something that they they are getting ready to reach out to you out of the blue because they're pissed about something that they either seen or heard, okay, about you being in a relationship, okay. Yeah, they starting to think crazy thoughts. Like, <clears throat> they thought that they could just come back and forth whenever they felt like it. See, that's that that was their, their fuck up right there. Because they thought that they could just come back and forth whenever they felt like it. Um, and you was just going to accept it. You see this person as a seven of swords, so you already don't trust this person. You already know that this person is a liar, sneaky, deceptive. Can't sit still. This person also thinks that you think that you're better. And it, and if so, oh well. <laughs> like, am I supposed to not think that? Okay, whatever. But I see your confidence level is through the roof. Some of y'all could be done with the Leo. I'm getting Leo energy heavy. Or it's um, Sagittarius. They, um, they're rushing in. They're even kind of like forcing it. Like, the, find a way to get back to you, to get, get to you, to communicate to you. Because I got the Ace of Swords right here. They could either even tell you, like, when they reach out to you, a lot of people, I know a lot of people who saw you or said this about me, but you don't know the whole story. That's not really what went down. That's not really what it is. They want to come, come speak to you. They want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. 
I'm seeing an apology as well. For some of you, this is a baby father, a husband, a, um, a Aries. They're wanting you to be patient with them. They're wanting you to show them some compassion and, and show them some sympathy. Um, after you done let this person, let me see, this, this person is Ten of Wands energy and the King of Wands. I'm getting real, a lot of fire energy. They could have fire in their chart. But this person is draining, okay? And the Ten of Wands energy is like bag lady. You know, like has so much baggage. This person comes with a lot of baggage. They come with a lot of baggage, but they may have a bunch of different sources of revenue. Um, so they could be very skilled at something. Yeah, I'm getting uh, at least two streams of income. Um, so they try to hide their feelings because they're carrying this emperor energy. Like they try to hide their hide, hide the emotions, their emotions, and how they feel about you know the feeling part of it is something that they try to mask or hide um, because they're trying to keep this emperor energy. They like to feel like they're in control. So yeah, they kind of block out the their emotions at times, and they get frustrated. A lot about things they may lash out um, or they have this toxic behavior that they display be careful because this person could be reaching out to you just to see if you are going to fall for it okay I feel like intuitively you may know that because you already know that this person, you already know how this person operates. You already know their plans. I feel like you may just be a little surprised that this person uh, is reaching out to you or coming towards you. You think they're doing it for attention? Yeah, this person is definitely trying to manifest their way back, trying to manifest their way back to you. But the thing about it is, is this person, like, just loves attention. This person could be, like, real popular, could be a Taurus or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But I'm just getting, like, this person just be doing too much. <laughs> They just be doing too much. They just be doing too much. And I don't see them really wanting a relationship. They get bored in relationships. Like, they don't really want to be tied down to one person. But they want your attention. They want, they want, you know, they want your energy. It's weird. But I feel like you already intuitively know what's, what's to come dealing with this person. So it's not like it's going to be a surprise. <laughs> All right, so y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao for now.